In these videos, I'm usually digging through the official monthly inflation data. But to understand how tariffs are showing up in the shopping aisle, let's talk to Alberto Cavallo. He runs the Harvard Business School Pricing Lab, where they have got prices collected every day on more than 300,000 products in U.S. retail stores. And here's the key, each product's country of origin. Across all of these tariff announcements since March, prices on imported goods have turned from deflation last year, exactly what we would expect from this data in normal times, to an unmistakable climb through mid-September. And goods made in the USA are rising too. Compared to these pre-trends, imports are about 5% more expensive. Domestic goods are up 3%. First question for Alberto. If tariff rates are generally up 10 points or more, how come import prices are only up 5%? So put yourself in the shoes of a retailer. It's, you know there's going to be something there. You don't want to increase your prices right away. By the way, you don't know what that level should be. So you, you they tend to prefer to do this um, gradually over time and perhaps not overreact. For now, that means U.S. retailers are absorbing a lot of the tariffs. Cavallo says prior trade wars tell us this will not last. We are seeing just the start of the tariff effects on consumer prices. Second question, why are prices rising even for stuff made here? One big reason is that many things are made with imported inputs. And then the second, even if they don't have imported inputs, they uh, compete with imported goods. Uh, so if your competitor is forced to raise prices, that gives you more pricing power. Um, and you can raise yours as well. Third question, look at imports from Mexico. No sign of any tariff effect. One factor is that many Mexican goods are exempted under a prior trade agreement. Cavallo also thinks expectations with Mexico are different. If you're a retailer today selling goods from China, you might expect the tensions to be there um, a few months from now. Uh, if you're talking about Mexico, it looks like the U.S. is more ready to sign some sort of deal. Uh, the relationship seems to be going better. One last point. Remember that prices are just one part of the story for American consumers. Alberto says over the long haul, economists like him are going to be watching for fewer varieties on the shelf, lower quality thanks to reduced competition, and lower economic growth. Thanks to Alberto Cavallo and the HBS Pricing Lab. I'll see you next time we pull something out of the basket.